Hi. Hey guys, it has been a long time since I did an update video about the baby and things have just been, she's been developing so quickly the last few weeks. It's been so exciting um, and I just kind of wanted to tell you a little bit about it. So Agnes is 11 months old the day this goes out, the second. Um, and month 10 has just been such a fun whirlwind. Um, if any of you are moms and have babies around that age, isn't it just like the best? She's getting so communicative and it's so cool. So, um, let's see, I feel like we did the last update like pre six months, probably around like four months or something like that. Um, she started eating solids on uh, Christmas Eve when she was almost six months old. Um, and since then she has become just like a little food monster. Um, we did baby led weaning, so that means that you skip straight, straight to table foods and eating with your hands. Um, and she basically will just eat some of whatever we're having. It makes restaurants so much fun. We just have to bring a sippy cup and a bib and um, usually like a silicone plate. And she can just eat whatever is on the menu. Um, and we just have a lot of fun with it. And she has basically eaten pretty much everything we've given her. A couple foods she's been slightly less enthusiastic about and others more so. Um, of course, her favorites are the junk foods. She's a sucker for those Gerber puffs <laughs> and the yogurt melts and all the really fun snacky stuff. Um, but she is now eating like three squares a day plus snacks um, and she's still nursing though, as you see. Um, she nurses in the mornings and at bedtime and pretty much like whenever she's bored or fussy, she'll just come to me and she'll ask for milk. She's doing some sign language. Yes. She knows how to say milk more. Um, sometimes she's started with all done um, and she's been waving. That's a new development. Um, she actually on, okay, let's, let's backtrack sort of chronologically. She struggled to learn to crawl for the longest time. Um, she was like on the cusp for, I wanna say like six weeks, um, where we were sure that any day now she was gonna start crawling. She would um, be on her tummy and get up on her hands and knees. She would be sitting and then like lean forward towards a toy, end up on her two hands and one knee, and then give up and come back to sitting. Um, and she was sitting really well from like five months, just after five months, um, sitting if we set her down. Um, that was something she was always really motivated to do. But she didn't learn how to sit herself up until uh, a couple days before Easter. And after that, it has just been a whirlwind. She figured it out how to you know, sit herself up from going on her tummy to kind of rolling over onto her side and sitting up. Then a couple days later on Easter, um, we went to a family party and she met her cousin there who's like a month and a day younger than her and was already crawling. <laughs> and we were telling her, you gotta learn, maybe you can learn from your Indai. And so uh, her cousin <laughs> was there in her little playpen and something that day just clicked for Agnes and she started crawling that day at the party. What's that? <laughs> And so since then she started off sort of crawling two hands, one foot, one knee. Um, but she's gotten faster in the last month. Um, she's now crawling on both knees and just zipping around. And it's been really, really great for her. She's um, able to like follow us instead of previously, if we left the room, she would just start fussing you know, crying because we weren't there anymore. But now she knows that if we leave the room and she doesn't want to be apart from us, she can just follow us. So just a minute ago, like I left her in the living room with some toys to go put the laundry in the dryer. And I hear the little plop, plop, plop of her little hands on the, uh, the hardwood. And she followed me all the way through the kitchen into the laundry room to help me out. And then um, she asked me for milk with her little hands which is just so cool. So she's been really communicative. Um, on Mother's Day, we went swimming for the first time, which was just fun. Um, but she actually said what we're counting as her first word. She said, hi. My uh, husband's cousin came in and she just waved and said hi to him. And it was just like, 
out of the blue. And Let since then, wiggle, wiggle. she has been, what, two, three weeks? Um, she's saying hi to everybody, strangers, friends, family members. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? No? You want more? Okay, good job. I just, you can't even see her feet, but she's standing a little bit now, too, where she's able to hold her balance for a few <laughs> seconds. Yep, here you go. Good girl. Um, so, she, yeah, we're counting high as her first word, and she's such a friendly little girl. She loves waving. She's getting really good at the whole, like, big windshield wiper wave, too. But then, um... She's like obsessed with our dog. We have a husky, and he is smart enough to know that he doesn't want anything to do with her. He's interacted with a couple toddlers in the past who've pulled his tail. That's his like major pet peeve, so he um, basically just avoids her if she tries to come close to him. But that doesn't stop her from being like obsessed. And every time she hears his claws on the floor, like across the house, <laughs> she'll call out to him. And she waves to, to normal people, like adults, humans, like this. She waves to the dog like this. And I don't know why, because it's like the sign for milk. And I don't, I still don't get this. I don't understand what she's associating between milk and the dog. But anyway, we're counting her second word as dog, but she pronounces it duck, which is kind of cute. <sighs> yeah, I know. So she's pulling to standing, she's cruising, she's um, balancing standing like she'll, you know, pull up on me or on some furniture and stand for a couple of seconds. Um, I think her record's probably around 10 seconds without leaning on anything. So I know that she's going to be, I feel like she's on, on track to take a couple steps by her birthday in the next month, but who knows, it took forever for her to crawl, so maybe it'll take another couple of months for her to learn to walk, but... Um, at least with this, like with the crawling, it was so traumatic for her that we would try to encourage her and she would just freak out. She'd end up on her tummy and something brain freeze would happen and she wouldn't be able to figure out or remember that she knew how to roll back over. If she didn't want to be on her tummy, she could choose to be on her back instead. Um, but now she's mobile, she's able to get around and do stuff. She's currently, this very second, trying to either stand up on the diaper pail or pull it down. So we've latched everything up. Um, we're still adding more baby proofing as we go along, and she's getting into more mischief. Um, but it's just such a joy, and like seeing the way that she brings happiness to other people. She's a good. And nope, the latch on the uh, trash can that holds all of her poop wasn't latched properly. Um, she, uh, you know, she waves to people and says hi, and it's just so cute to see like. You know how you can get tired of listening to people talk about their kids? But I don't think it's possible to get tired of hanging out with Agnes. <laughs> She's just the sweetest. Um, and, like, all of the, um, like, she, she, oh yeah, sleep, right? She's been sleeping okay. I always tell people she sleeps pretty good. For a stretch there, she was sleeping from like 8 to 4, 5, sometimes 6. Um, the last few weeks have been a struggle a little bit more. She's needed um, her dad to go in and rock her back to sleep at some point around midnight. Um, she just finished popping the top four teeth, and so I think we're still kind of in a transition period trying to get her back to a baseline um, of sleep and her schedule. Because um, that was tricky for her, but she, she handled it like a pro. And it was kind of, I think, a good thing that all four of them happened at once. Like her two bottom teeth, she they popped within a day of each other. And the top four teeth, about a week between the, the first and the fourth of them. So they're all the way out now and still, you know, growing a little bit. And um, so she's doing great with that, having fun, like pulling pieces of meat apart with her teeth, freaking my mom out because um, she's afraid she's going to choke. But we keep an eye on her. We know what we're doing. And she has so much fun with food. Making a little bit of a mess. She likes um, meat. She likes what, eggs and veggies. Carrots are the best. And cannot get enough fruit. So I know 11 months is kind of a weird time to do an update video. Excuse me. Oh, 
oh yes, she wanted to remind you that she's kissing now on command again. She started doing kisses on command, oh, I don't want to say maybe seven months old, something like that. And then she would not for the longest time. And now she started to offer more kisses more willingly, which is the sweetest thing. And um, just, oh man, I love it. I love it. Actually, sometimes unprovoked as well. She'll just come up and give you a kiss on the cheek or try to eat your nose, whichever um, she's feeling sillier. Um, she's got a little sense of humor. She'll try to like give you something and then take it away. Um, or the other way around too. She likes it if you do that to her. <laughs> and yeah, it's been nice to be able to be in, like I feel like I'm more in control of the house and chores a little bit. Because I can kind of set her down and she can play and keep herself entertained and then she'll come find me if she needs me. Um, I am giving her breakfast on, in the mornings when my um, father-in-law is here with her. So that gives me a chance while she's entertained by the Cheerios to, you know, put a little laundry in and, and stuff like that. And then she's still going to the babysitter three days a week. And I did some videos about those routines. Um, I'll link one of them up above. Okay, she's starting to get into a little bit more mischief, so that is it for today's video. <laughs> if you guys want to make sure you don't miss any of these, I've here there's a bell that you can click on, so you know, it's down there. You should take a look, and I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Bye.